Hola! I'm here with two different menstrual cups. This was my first one. I got the I got it at the beginning of the year, so I've had it for about half a year now. Um, and it's been a pleasure to be a team <laughs> because it's saved me and also um, it's uh, convenient and it's uh, much more comfortable in the heat when this is on and you really don't feel it unless it's positioned incorrectly and that can get annoying because you do have to go in and position um, but it takes a lot to get used to I'm not completely a pro at it I'm still learning how it is with my body um, the difficult part is in the evening so when I'm sleeping with it I do end up waking up um, with some leakage but now that I have the period underwear oh I forgot which one I got mm, horrible but that one is a saver too I think I need two of those so I need to get another um, period underwear there is such thing a period underwear where it's just the fabric and you just have to wash it anyway so this is my first one and this is the new one that I got um, it was gifted to me for my birthday so you know being older gotta have another one and I'm really excited what I do like about this or what I saw that I can compare because this one the salt one and I already sanitized this so you just have to boil in water for about four to seven minutes um, and don't let it touch the pot so this has the tip right here and when you dig in and you have to look for it it's kind of like um, difficult to so you don't pull it you just have to go in and then just pinch this and it has the ridges right here where um, you could feel it and you have to release the suction release the suction so you can pull it out and it's amazing what this collects um, but sometimes I feel like it's not big enough for a whole day on my heavy day, my second day. Um, and this is a three tampon capacity. So with the new one, I think I'm going to like this a lot more because it has the, um, like a hook where you could put your finger in there. But the thing is, I haven't read it, so I don't really know much about it. I didn't read up on it or anything. Um, I just saw this little hook and I thought it would be a genius move to have. So um, it's easier to find. I don't know. Okay, well, let's open it up. This is the Flex uh, menstrual cup. Full fill. I haven't gone through it, like I said, so let's see what it has. It's reusable just like this. It's called Innovative release ring. That's what it is. The ring where you could hook your finger. Designs to break steel and remove cup in one smooth motion. Mm -hmm. That would be very helpful because again, it sucks to just look for this and then just try to go in and pinch it because sometimes it's lodged in there, literally. So you have to be comfortable with yourself when you're using the menstrual cup. So the release ring. The smartest removal method of any cup on the market. I'm excited to really try that. 12 hours, same thing as this, sleep, exercise, swimming, and more. 100% medical grade, FDA, slim fit. Oh, so the one, this there's a slim fit and a full fit. The full fit is still the capacity of three super tampons. I don't know what... So this is 30 milliliters. I don't know how many milliliters this holds. It just says three tampon capacity, but this says three super tampons. Made in the USA and Canada. Before using flex menstrual disc, or flex, menstrual disc. Oh, there's a menstrual disc. Comfort seals. Oh, I didn't even see that. All I saw was this. I was like, what is this? So there's menstrual disc and a menstrual cup. Is that like a a woman's condom? Can I put this in here? Okay, let's see what it's for. I'm excited now. 
Comfort Seal warms and forms to your body to create custom seal, prevents leaks during exercise, sleep, and sex. Disposable, single use only, 12 hour wear, sleep, exercise, swimming, and sexual intercourse. That's so weird. One size fit most. The menstrual discs sit in a different position than tampons and cups and were designed to fit the majority of women, including mothers. I didn't never knew there was a menstrual disc. It literally looks like a woman's condom. Okay. So let's open it up. Doctor recommended. My Swiss Army knife. It's just a clear seal on the top. It's just interesting because the salt cup, it has like these rock things. See the design? I wonder if that's like um, silicone stuff? Why does it... Oh. Duh! I think that's because that's how your period like consistency actually looks like like inside the cup because it lo looks like a murder so I take it off in the shower I try to take it off in the shower sometimes when I'm out and about I do have to take it out in the bathroom and it's so inconvenient that's the thing it's so inconvenient when you're in a stall and it doesn't have um a sink next to it so when you do use this and you feel like well you already know if you're gonna leak or not um, go in a stall if they have one hopefully they do a stall that has a sink next to the toilet and not a lot of restroom stalls do but if it has one wait for it but I think that's what it is I didn't know that Duh. So it says, have the most comfortable period of your life. Okay, so here it is. And so far it looks so much bigger than this. Is it? Which is cool. Whoa. There's this little thing inside. Oh, so when I pulled it, this came down. Oh, I really have to read up on this because my cycle is coming up next. It's coming soon, so that's why I thought I'd open this now. Okay, so, so far, this is how it is. And this is much bigger wonder how it's gonna feel inside and it has something inside there it has a little vents you see the holes in there this hole you could actually see through this hole these holes here it's kind of like diagonal like I can't see it through unless like I look sideways so these holes go diagonally and this one just goes straight across Hmm, one, two, three, four. It has four holes. It has a groove thing still. So let's see. Looks like a bell, like ding, 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 I need help. Okay, so then when you pull it, whoa. It just pulls this down. Hmm. So I wonder if you just have to push it. Okay, let's just read.
very cool. So that's how the ring is supposed to look like and that's the cup. See that, see that, see that? Interesting. Forms to your shape to create a custom seal at the base of your cervix. Reduce dryness and irritation in up to 80% of the user reduces cramps and over 60% of the user. I do have cramps sometimes with this and it's very uncomfortable and I would have to go in and adjust. So yeah, but it's, I'm still learning. Um, and then there's directions on how to put the disc in. Whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna need to like really read about this. Like you squeeze the ring and then you slide it in and then it stays by the cervix, but how are you supposed to know? And then it just looks like it's gonna be messy when it comes out. And it tells you all about the stuff here. I'm just not ready for that yet. And then it has all this stuff about the cup. Oh, so you can still remove it by pinching it or pulling that thing. Remove and release ring, get comfortable, insert your thumb and index finger in your vagina until you can reach the releasing ring. Insert your finger or thumb into the ring. So this is about 12 hours still. I'm just skimming through, okay? Da, 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 da. So do you boil it the same way? How do you clean it? Oh, how to clean your flex cup before using flex cups each time you change it out. Remove the release ring and thoroughly wash your flex cup for 20 seconds with warm water and using mild, mild oil and fragrance free soap. Remove the release ring by gripping. Whoa, you could take that whole thing off. So you could clean it because there's actually a hole in there too. Whoa. Rethread. So then you put it back in. It's gonna be hard. Okay. There, it's back to normal. And then you can pull it out. That's how you pull it out. And then to clean it, you just put your hands in here and pull it out. <sighs> okay, prior to insert, thoroughly wash your hands and flex cup for 20 seconds. Use warm water and mild. Hmm. So it says nothing about boiling. So there's two ways, press and release. So let's put it back through the hole, threading it. And then again, to put it in, you just do the C thing and put it in like that. Or fold it one way and put it in like that. And then I know that's 712 where you just go like that and you fold it in half or like diagonal it looks like a seven. But it doesn't recommend that here, it's just those two ways. It really doesn't say anything about boiling it. Okay, so I'll read the rest. That's just 
the difference of the salt and the flex. It comes with a little baggie, so fancy, looks elegant. Um, so I guess I just have to wash it. And then, so this is the difference. The rings are in here. I don't know when I could get myself to use these. Okay, um, I'm just gonna read the rest of this. I just wanted to show you how this looks and um, how I feel about this. I haven't bought pads in a long time. I've only bought the panty liners because I'm still getting used to this. So the panty liners, it leaks sometimes, so I need the panty liners just to catch anything um, that leaks out and it'll tell me, hey dude, you're full. Um, change me, dump me out. And yeah, I'm excited to use this and see how it is. Um, so that's it. Toodles, noodles. And here's the box of the flex again. Stay flexing.